you guys can obviously see, it's almost impossible to film a video on the side of a racetrack. Now, that was my very first IMSA race and the first time I've ever been to Road America up in Wisconsin. And that race series is really cool because you actually have three different classes of cars racing on the track all at the same time. So picture if F1, NASCAR, and IndyCar were all on the track at the same time, not racing outside of their class, but still racing with each other and slow cars getting in the way. Pretty exciting, highly recommend you check that out if you ever have the opportunity. And sadly, even though I saw Juan Pablo, we didn't have any really strange and awkward encounters with each other like we have had in the past. Uh, if you've never heard that story, well, I'll tell it some other time because today we're talking about engine oil. We got to hang out at the Acura paddock and the BMW paddock and these cars use engine oil straight out of the bottle. What does that mean to me? Well, since I also run that same engine oil, um, I own three race cars, pretty cool. Not really, of course, that's ridiculous, but it did get me thinking about all that information on the front and the back of these oil bottles. There's so much going on on the labels of these bottles, and it can be really confusing as if buying engine oil doesn't get weird enough. And if you wanna make it even worse for yourself, start doing some research and you can easily go down the rabbit hole of researching engine oil, which is where I was at about 2 a.m. this morning. So in this video, I'm gonna simplify the words on the bottle and tell you the important ones that you really need to pay attention to. Before we do that though, I'm going to give you the biggest secret in the world about getting the right engine oil for probably 97% of you that are buying oil for your car. And it's really easy. It's in this magical little book that came with your car known as the owner's manual. And sometimes it's even on the oil fill cap on your engine. So let's grab one of these bottles and check it out. Obviously we're going to have the branding. Here's our Pennzoil branding all over the bottle. Pure Plus technology, that's where they actually make this engine oil from natural gas. Platinum is kind of like the model of the oil. Euro, so that's good since we're going to be putting this in a European car, AKA my R32. Full synthetic, of course. Now our first major thing we're going to be looking at is our SAE 5W40. SAE, Society of Automotive Engineers. Five is going to be our cold flow viscosity meaning that it's gonna be pretty thin when the engine oil is cold. This will allow the car to start easier as well as get that oil up to the top end of the engine and the turbocharger. The W does not stand for weight, it stands for winter, meaning that it's a five winter. So it's going to flow very, very easily when it's cold in the winter time. People often do confuse this overall number with the weight of the oil because there's a W right here. It's not technically right, but I'll be honest, I've been guilty of calling this a 5W40 weight oil myself. But this is technically the viscosity rating. Then our 40 is our hot temperature flow, meaning that it's going to flow a little slower at 100 degrees Celsius or 212 Fahrenheit. So when you're first looking at engine oil, this is the first number that we need to look at. We need to make sure we're getting the one that our owner's manual says. Because this is a European blend, it's formulated for BMW, Mercedes, VW, which is what's going in, Porsche, and Audi vehicles. And it's also licensed by Ferrari because Ferrari uses Pennzoil as their factory fill engine oil. Now there's also one more ultra important bit of information in tiny, tiny print on the front of this bottle. And that's this right here. Consult and follow your owner's manual. Seem to have heard someone else just tell you that a matter of seconds ago. Just follow what your owner's manual says for what oil to buy. Let's rotate it to the back and see what it says on the back. On this upper third or so on the back of the bottle, it's going to give you some of the features and benefits of this particular oil. Nothing keeps your engine closer to factory clean, better fuel economy protects horsepower, wear protection, and performance in extreme temperatures. Up next, we have some of the testing that's done in order to be able to say these things listed right above it. For example, the sequence VG test tests for sludge deposits on rocker arms, timing chain covers, piston compression rings that are sticking, and clogging of the oil pump. This is a test that's done by SRI, and it consists of 54 cycles over 216 hours. Pretty cool stuff, but it doesn't really tell us whether this is the right engine oil for our car or not. So on the back, at the bottom, is where the vital information for getting the correct engine oil for your car actually is. You'll notice first this little circle that kind of looks like a Pokemon ball. This is actually called the service donut. 
So it's gonna reiterate that we have 5W40 engine oil. If it's missing the W or the SAE, it's probably not going to be 5W40. We also have the API Service SN. As of right now, that's the latest class of engine oil. They do some pretty extensive testing on the engine oil to get that SN rating. Now, here's where we get into the nitty gritty. Exceeds the requirement for the following industry specifications, API, SN, slash CF, so we're good there, and the super important ACE, A3 slash B3, a3 slash B4. Now it's gonna tell you all the manufacturer specific information as far as approvals. So exceeds Ferrari and Maserati, BMW Long Life, Mercedes-Benz approval, Mercedes-Benz approval, Mercedes-Benz approval, VW 50200, which is the one that we're gonna be concerned about, and 50500, Porsche A40, Chrysler, and on and on. Please recycle your oil at the nearest collection center. Please do this if you're doing your own oil change. If you're taking it somewhere, don't worry about it. They'll be doing that for you. So what you need to do is you need to open your owner's book and you need to see what kind of oil your car takes. And then you need to find this information on the back of the bottle. For me, on my R32, VW 50200 is the criteria that I have to have. And it also lists the ACEA a3 slash B3. So for the R32, if it doesn't have this ACEA A3 slash B3, or this 50200 designation on the back or on the front, really, then it's technically not the correct oil for the vehicle. The difference here can be different high temp, high shear ratings. It can be different additive packages, different detergent packages. While it may be the right base oil, it doesn't have the right extra goodies to make it the right oil for the car. Now this bottle of Ultra Platinum does have a different set of specifications that it meets, but if you'll notice, we don't have anywhere on here 50200 or ACEA A3B3. On the ACEA, the A is going to be for gas cars, the B is going to be for diesels, and sometimes you might actually see a letter C which is for cars that have an after-treatment system like a diesel particulate filter or even a gas particulate filter. There's also other designations for heavy-duty type stuff. This is mostly passenger car specifications. All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap it up there. Questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up button. I do always appreciate that. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks to Pennzoil for bringing me out to Wisconsin to watch that really cool race and for partnering with me to make this video for you guys. All right, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys again next time. I take back what I said, the R32 is in fact a race car. That is not the right button to push.